this is Imi from itradeaims.net, aims stress-free trading. So we have three aims indicators that create the setup. The setup is the pattern that we use to trade the markets, and that pattern is based on the structure of the market. Now you might not know, or you may know, market is not random. It looks random, but we have discovered that underneath it there's a structure and that structure can be discovered using the aim setup in this video in this presentation my focus is going to be to understand the aims indicators and how to use them we're going to keep it simple we have three indicators indicator number one is the box which we're not going to talk about Indicator number two, this could be put as number one, but I have put aims the box at the top because that was the first one that I coded and that is the one that I trust the most. And the most valuable for me is the box and the second most valuable indicator is the wave. I would put seven figures on this because it's worth it because it does something special and I'm going to talk about it. And the third AIMS indicator is the gator. And together, all three create a setup. And when that setup is created, we get an AIMS entry alert. So let's begin. What is AIMS wave? It reveals the momentum and the wave structure of the market. Now, if you don't know about the structure of the market, I highly recommend that you download 10 second Elliott Wave ebook link is in the description that sheds a lot more light on the structure of the market. What is the background of Ames the Wave? So, Ames Wave is derived from Bill Williams of Profitunity, Bill Williams indicator called the AO or the Awesome Oscillator. It is available in all MetaTrader 4 um, platform. It's as a standard, but Ames Wave is an advanced version of that indicator. It shows four colors. So the AO is two colors, but uh, the change of color was can be confusing because it can be below the zero line and turn red. So that's a different way of looking at it. But if you have the four colors Ames Wave, it gives you four different types of information. Ames Wave has uh, two Ames Wave has two further advanced versions, which I'm not going to talk about in this video, but we will have a glimpse at the end of one of it. What does Ames Wave do? So number one, it helps the trader understand the momentum of the market. Which way is the market going and what is its momentum? And number two, it helps the trader reveal the hidden structure of the market and we're going into a little bit of detail into it and there I will put links in the description to my previous two or three uh, videos which actually focused on how to count the waves using the Ames wave indicator. So how is Ames wave calculated? Let's dive into what, how is it calculated and why it is what it is. So the AIM waves is simply a 34 period simple moving average plotted through the middle points of the bars that is high plus low divided by two. So it's the average of the candle or the bar. It is subtracted from the five period simple moving average built across the central points of the bars. Now this might sound a bit complicated putting it this way but bear with me, I will clarify this when we go to the charts later. The wave has two main benefits. It shows momentum of the market and it shows the Elliott wave count. And there's a particular way of doing it. So please check out 10 second to Elliott wave ebook. You can go to this link. It's in the description and that would make it easier. 
So this is the general look of Ames Wave. You have the bars going up, lime green, and when they come down, it's dark green. When it goes below, it's red. And when it goes back up towards, but still below the zero line, and I'm going to discuss about zero line later, it's maroon. So above the zero line, it remains lime green and dark green. Below the zero line, it remains red and maroon. The question then is, what is the zero line? Using the color coding, it shows us quite clearly what is happening to the market driving force at the present moment. In other words, it shows us the upwards or downwards momentum. That's the first important bit of this indicator. And helps us count the wave, which is very useful for creating the setup one. So what is the zero line? Ames waves is classed as an oscillator indicator. So it oscillates pivots around this zero line. The histogram oscillates around a zero line, and this basically is the crossover of the 5 and the 34 simple moving average. So bear with me towards the end when we go into the charts. I'm going to plot a certain chart and show you the why this histogram is the way it is and what it actually shows. Our indicator does not show by default the zero line because we don't need it but if you want it you can go to the indicators um, the you can go to the indicator properties add this here change the color to black and solid and then it would look like this black line So what is close to zero line? The concept of close to zero line is a unique read of the market. You will hear this term quite uh, used quite often in AIM strategies. All the chat rooms and everywhere we, we talk about close to zero line. There used to be a jingle by Eric, the French guy, um, a good friend Eric. I'm forgetting his, uh, he, he blogs about AIMs. So if I find the link, I probably will put it in the description. And Eric and I used to sing a song, the, the fresh cross of zero line and break of aims. This was our little jingle. It means that, so it means that aims wave bars, that is the bars of the histogram are close to its zero line. And it's very important. There's a unique function of this. It is essential to understand this concept of close to zero line in order to understand the setup one. So this is the picture, a perfect example of a setup one. It happened today, the 25th of September, 26th of September, uh, 2019. In these areas, this is where wave is close to zero line. Now I'm going to give away how we create a setup one here it is. The way to trade setup one is to wait for what we call the wave three. And anytime the market actually consolidates around this area where the gator sleeps and the purple is inside the box, and then we wait for it to break out like so. And when it breaks out, the gator opens. Then we wait for it to sleep. And when the gator sleep, sleep by sleeping, we mean what we mean is that at least uh, for when it sleeps from uptrend, we want the green line to cross the red line at least. And if it all three of the lines mingle together, that's the perfect sleeping gator and it has to be inside a tight box, which you see right now. So when this happens, AO crosses the zero line. And then we know that if it is going to resume in this direction, it's going to cross the zero line at one point. And this is where we enter the market and we hit the target zone one. So there are videos about target zone one on the channel. So I'll probably link them, but if, you, if I don't link them, 
you can find them. What is the Tiger Zone 1? Why is close to zero line important? We take setups when Ames wave is close to zero line, as I just explained. The Ames wave is the most important indicator in terms of momentum and wave counting. The zero line is the point of equilibrium. So from the, care, the, the science of chaos perspective, if you think of price as um, something that climbs a mountain, so the point of equilibrium would be right at the peak of the mountain. And this zero line kind of shows that area. Hence the tipping point at the peak of a mountain. It is also a balance point. So if you think of a seesaw and consider the, where the hinges are between where the seesaw pivots, that's where the zero line is. The pivot point. And the zero line is the tipping point from where the boulders roll down the hill, right? So if you were at the peak of the mountain and you were to roll a boulder either side of the mountain, it is going to roll and it's going to build energy. And it will be easier to roll it at the top, but very difficult to stop it when it's gained momentum. It is the butterfly flap of the butterfly principle. That's where it starts. So there's a concept called but the butterfly principle. You can Google it and you'll find out it's what it is. It's from the science of chaos. Your understanding of the setup one relies on your ability to read Ames wave. This is how important this indicator is. Setup one is our dearest great indicator, as a, a greatest pattern that reveals the structure of the market. It repeats itself. It's a fractal geometrically correct pattern. You will see that pattern on every time frame on any market. But your understanding of setup one depends on your ability to read Ames wave correctly. So that's why I cannot put enough emphasis on this point. So please understand it. How to count Elliott wave. I'm going to tell you that you can learn the secret method to count Elliott wave within 10 seconds. And that can be done. You can learn that very easily. If you download the free guide that I have linked below in the description, the 10 second, to, uh, the 10 second Elliott wave ebook. It's my dearest book I've written years ago Probably I will revise it recently, but I'm giving it for free now. Uh, the concept is still there. It, it's still, we use it. It's the same concept. No, no need to actually rewrite it. But, you know, link is in the description. Please download it. You're going to like it because when you go to that link, you will not only get the indicator, but in a later email, you will probably receive our this Ames wave indicator for free. So there we go. This was a brief introduction to Ames wave. Further details and training given inside members area of Ames stress free trading. This is not a sales pitch, but I have to say it. This is what it is. I mean, we are members who come here appreciate it. They love it. If you want to know how to use this indicator and want to understand the setup one, that's where you can get it. And before we finish, let's have a look at some charts and see how we use this awesome indicator, originally the awesome oscillator. Now aims the wave. This is our take on it. So I've selected today's chart. This is the chart from DAX 30. Uh, today, the 26th of September 2019, I took this trade, posted it in our chat room. It's a nice breakout into wave five towards target zone one, and it did hit target zone one. We have two trades. 
Uh, actually, it didn't really hit target zone one, but it was still a good trade. And as you can see, that after the wave three and the four, and the, oh yes, so earlier I talked about that there are two advanced versions of Ames wave. One is E wave, and the other one is really really advanced. I'm not going to plug it right now here, but there will be a webinar or a proper presentation on that because that indicator in itself is a system and it is coded and designed by Steve of 4-exe.com this is a trade from yesterday again a very fresh one DAX set up one trade at London Open this is kind of a setup zero further instructions uh, in um, further explanation of setup zero one and two is in the members area and it hits target point and turns into a wave three this is another concept that I just explained in my previous two videos which I released yesterday that sometimes wave five what you think is a wave five can actually turn into wave three creating further more opportunities and on this occasion it hit my two percent target but then it turned into wave three and then we took further two trades this is the trade that I took just the day before 24th of September so this is the dollar yen on the M1 chart the trade was identified on the M15 so we have a mechanism which we call the waltz that is a fourth strategy we haven't released it yet but it's a mechanism where you can be on 15 to 20 times higher time frame and be able to know if a setup one is happening somewhere down there so on M15 I, I looked at the chart and I found out I thought there might be a setup on on the M1 chart so I took it I left and then it hit target point here another two percent and I did not even look at this trade it was just all automatic this slide was in my previous video as well but I love it this does not this this does not require hard work I took the trade and forgot about it forgot about it well it means that I took it I handed it over to the automation thing, the script that manages our trades, and that's it. And now I'm going to go into some charts from the MT4 platform. So let's go there. Interesting. This is a chart of Bitcoin. So this is what we call the famous setup. So on day one, on 2nd of September, you would have known that uh, a setup one might be. We have a mechanism where at UK midnight, before midnight, actually UK 10 o'clock at night. If you look at the chart, you'd be able to predict that there might be a setup one happening at London Open. And this is what it is. Setup one happening. And this is the cross of zero line and coming back to the zero line. That is setup one. That's one example. This is example from today, midday today. And this is example from today. This is the US 30, the Dow on the M1 chart. Perfect sleeping data. Purple is just out of the box. And as you can see, the box is dark tone, which means it's within the, the range. It's it's really nicely below 10 pips so your stop loss would be just about 12 pips and if you trail the candles you made 47 otherwise 60 pips was there so it's like you risked a hundred dollars and made 500 that is just beautiful setup one and this is why we love Ames wave this is an example from DAX M1 from 25th and you can see a three up and then this first cross of zero line is the minimum requirement of wave four and then in all this area price has actually stayed close to the uh, AO Ames wave has been this is what, what we call close to the zero line so nothing in Forex is uh, one number it's a fuzzy kind of a range it's always a range so around this area it is basically at close to the zero line and then what we know is that when it peaks here and then comes to the zero line and it doesn't make a big peak 
underneath then it will resume up and it would diverge and this divergence usually coincides with hitting the target zone 1 and that confirms wave 5 so this is a nice 3, 4, 5 where is wave 1, 2? don't care what I care about is 3, 4 and hitting the 5 and to finish it up I'm going to show you the perfect setup that happened today on Swizzy M15 and with that I'm showing you the second version of the Ames Wave. It is E-Wave and E-Wave plots that count that you learn in that book, 10 second Elliott's Wave. That logic has been coded into this indicator. Uh, I do recommend that you understand the logic first and then apply this because a lot of people actually make it easy they just get the the indicator and then they are asking me questions what happened and what happened like in Eric's case uh, I mean he, he he's read the book and stuff but I do recommend that first you read the book download it understand it you should be able you should be able to count the waves without these numbers printed using Ames wave and once you are familiar with it into stage two and three then you get this indicator and put it on then it just makes your job easier and this can be downloaded we used to have a 25% discount for AIMS members because this is coded by Steve and there will be a good news about it hopefully soon and that's it I hope you understand what is AIMS wave how to use it and how hugely powerful and important this indicator is Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and if yes, please hit the like button. Do you have any questions or ideas for upcoming videos? Then leave a comment. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos.